Hello, my name is John Doherty, and the title of my research project is Laser Guided Autonomous Landing of a Quadrotor UAV on an Inclined Surface. Let me begin by giving you a short background and motivation for my project. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, are being used in a wide variety of applications, uh, both civilian and military. Everything from aerial photography to uh, search and rescue missions, weapons delivery systems, now even Amazon is jumping on board. Uh, so a quad rotor is one particular type of UAV. It has two pairs of counter-rotating blades and they are situated at the vertices of a square. So we have a desire to land a UAV on an inclined surface autonomously. Uh, one can imagine a situation where this might be useful. Uh, imagine a ship at sea in rough waters. Uh, if we want to land a UAV on the ship's deck, which is oscillating with waves, we'll need to be able to measure that inclination and design a landing trajectory such that the quadrotor or whatever type of UAV can land uh, precisely on that moving surface. Uh, you can imagine another scenario such as flying a UAV in unknown terrain where you need to do a, uh, a landing on flat ground but it's inclined uh, so you need to be able to measure what that incline is to be able to land on it carefully. So I have two objectives here. So the first objective is to develop this novel uh, low-cost landing assistance system for a quadrotor UAV using a single camera and laser modules. And the system will estimate the altitude and the relative ground plane angle. My second objective is to then use this information to design a landing trajectory such that the attitude of the quadrotor becomes aligned to the incline of the surface as it touches down. To do this, uh, we will implement a hybrid controller. So if we begin to analyze this problem in two dimensions, you can make some simplifications, but you'll see that your results, uh, the accuracy of your results will be somewhat limited uh, based on the altitude. However, uh, if you look at this problem in three dimensions, which is uh, what I have done here, you can get uh, better accuracy over a wider range of altitudes. So in three dimensions, we consider the laser deflection angles as well as the laser position vectors. And so I have um, derived relations in 3D that can relate the 2D image plane coordinates to the 3D world coordinates. So the working principle is fairly straightforward. The laser dots migrate in the image plane in response to changes in altitude and ground plane angle. As the altitude decreases, the laser dots tend to move towards the uh, edge of the frame. As the altitude increases, the laser dots merge towards the center. Similarly, as the incline changes, uh, the laser dots will move in a pattern that we can predict and use to figure out what exactly is going on. So clearly, we need some way to extract uh, image coordinates from the information that we have, which is a raw image from our onboard camera. So we have a fairly straightforward image processing scheme that thresholds a raw image based on brightness of the pixels, and we get a binary image, and we can search this binary image for contours, and we can find the, uh, the coordinates of the centroids of the contours and treat these as the coordinates of the laser dots in the image plane. We can repeat this process for a number of different frames until we obtain enough measurements. Now clearly we have uh, too much information. We only need three points that are not on a line to determine a plane, but we're considering eight points uh, in this particular application. So now I can pass my measurements to uh, an estimator a nonlinear least squares batch processor, and it will spit out an estimate of the altitude and the normal vector describing the ground plane. So my experimental quad rotor is given here. Uh, on the underside, you can see I have a camera along with laser modules. Now the laser modules are just uh, common five milliwatt red laser modules, the kind that you'd find in any sort of laser pointer. I also built a, a landing platform with adjustable inclination. Now if we turn our attention to the design of the landing trajectory, uh, we have a geometric nonlinear controller that is flying this quadrotor. Now we begin using a position tracking mode. 
So the position tracking mode will guide the quadro to the landing site, at which point the system will turn on and begin taking measurements and get an estimate of the altitude and the relative ground plane angle. Uh, after an estimate is obtained, the position tracking controller will begin to guide the quad rotor downward, and as it gets close to the landing phase, uh, it'll switch over to the attitude tracking controller. Now the attitude tracking controller will attempt to align the attitude of the quad rotor to the incline of the surface as it touches down. And here we have some numerical simulation results for uh, a few different cases of incline. So I have some preliminary experimental results. This quad rotor, this quad rotor is capable of autonomous flight with the geometric nonlinear controller. Additionally, the image processing works uh, very well. The 3D nonlinear least squares algorithm has been tested successfully on simulated data that was produced in MATLAB. So as you can see here, the algorithm converges quite nicely to the, to the true values. So in conclusion, the proposed system can accurately estimate the altitude and relative ground plane angle of a hovering UAV. Um, in order to measure the inclination of a dynamic surface, a recursive estimator would be necessary that can operate in real time. Uh, the current batch estimator is only um, practical for a static incline. Uh, furthermore, if you would like to use this system outdoors in direct sunlight, uh, improvements would be necessary to the image processing. Um, the brightness search can break down in direct sunlight, so some improvements could be made in this area as well.